Hey guys, it's Ganesh Raven back to you with another awesome video and this video is about one of the most famous colleges in Karnataka and it is named as the top most college of Karnataka which stands an NIRF ranking of 77 so which is none other than none other than RV College of Engineering let's get straight into the video At first, let's see some facts about RVCE and some of the modes of admissions as well. So, RVCE is established in the year 1963 and uh, this is run by uh, Rashtriya Shikshana Samiti which is a non-profitable trust as you can see and this trust runs over 25 institutions and RVCE becomes one of the major and most important institutions which is run by RSS. So let's see the courses offered and the seat matrix present in this college. The courses offered are as you can see here it's aerospace engineering, biotech, chemical engineering, civil, computer science engineering, triple E, ECE, everything. So, whereas for the computer science engineering, the intake would be 180 students. For ECE, the intake is also 180 students. And for ISC, ISC is 60 students. So, for the CSC plus ISC, you will be having 240 seats. And remember guys, to get into this institution, you need to get a very, very, very good rank in either Comet K or KCT or through JE means. Otherwise, the management code of this college is way too overpriced, way too high to handle as well. So keep that in mind. Let's see some of the course cutoffs through KCT. For computer science, we have the cutoff. The cutoff stands for 136. It may increase, of course, it may it would increase in the coming years, but this was the cutoff in 2020 for ECE as you can see it touches barely 500 which is 486 and it even fluctuates in this in the upcoming rounds of second round and the special round let's see some of the cutoffs in Comed K I have considered round 2 because very few seeds of CSC ISC are actually available in the round 2 as you can see here computer science engineering uh, stands at 266 so as I said, of course, you need to get a very good ranking in either Comet K or KCT to get into this college. For EC, it stands at 893. For ISC, it stands at 349. So let's look into the fee structure. Through Comet K, as you can see here, uh, it reaches still 2,1960. Uh, These are the documents. I have given a link for you guys to just visit the site. Uh, for your reference so documents to be submitted would be the admission order issued by the comment K after your allotment process and the originals of 10th and 12th marks cards and the TC the migration certificates and if you have claimed any seat any seat any branch in the college via any category you have to give certain certificates particular certificates related to that category okay then the photocopy of the student aadhar card is mandatory and the photocopy of pan card of the parent is mandatory then you need to attest this what is attestation you need to get a sign from an high from a higher official on all these documents which i mentioned above then you have to submit two color passport size photos that's very important then for students studying outside India, the copy of photocopy of passport and visa is also mandatory. Then via KCT, if we want to see the fee structure, it ranges from 78 to 82k prices. Okay. So if you are getting admission through uh, KCT, the documents to be submitted are as follows. The KCT application form and the proof of your payment that's also mandatory and the admit card. 
the admit card so don't throw away after the exam please keep it safe the score card of the 10th standard and the pu second pu or 12th standard two recent passport passport size photograph photographs study certificate counter signed by the concerned beo or ddpi which means which implies you have to attest these documents as well and very importantly i have provided this pdf in the description do check it out why people choose this college is all because of its amazing placement offers let's see the 2021 uh, offers in the companies so as you can see for the 14 lakh so let's start with the premium packages which is 14 lakh and above and 12 lakh to 14 lakhs so offers see the offers so it is like 200 200 offers by 44 companies and 12 to 14 lakh offers uh were well, 41 which is also pretty good which is not bad and 8 to 12 lakh as you can see it is 223 offers 223 offers and up to 6 lakh which is median salary wala thing so there are 648 offers so you can assume everyone in the it branches it related branches csc isc ece will get placed for sure and will get a very very good package that's for sure in this college so don't worry so seeing this we can say the average package the median salary in this college would be around 8 lakh to 9 lakh even it can reach 8 to 10 lakhs so this is this is why this stands on the top in karnataka so and it makes sense as well for branch wise offers made i have given a bar chart as you can see so total company visited would be 245 so let's see some of the hostel facilities and everything else around it so the boys hostel present over here is the chamundi block for first year ug students kaveri block which is for which is also for the first year students and in the kaveri block there stays second and third year ug students as well and in this college there is an option like for the first years it would be three sharing rooms and for and for the second years it would be two sharing and third and fourth years would be like only one sharing while well, well it depends uh, solely upon your choices whereas the boys hostel uh is inside the campus whereas the girls hostel would be outside the campus let's talk about the clubs which are present in rvc campus so there are couple of more clubs which are active super active in the campus so here i have mentioned some of the clubs so i have given the links for all other clubs for the club page of rvc in the pdf which i have provided team ashwa khaimara garuda are mechanical clubs which aims in building cars various types of cars for example team ashwa focuses on building formula cars whereas khaimara focuses on building hybrid and electric vehicles whereas garuda focuses on super mileage cars and we have this team jatayu and vyoma which focuses on designing and fabricating unmanned aerial vehicles whereas team helios focuses on racing so it organizes all terrain vehicle racings so we have this aventura club this is a sport club this is a sport club which organizes adventurous sports like water rafting camping rock climbing and etc debsoc is a debate society so these are the club info these are the clubs which are active in the rvc campus so just if you want to know more about these clubs anyways i have provided the link for you guys here only let's move on to the fest the most important and the most famous fest in bangalore which is the 8th mile this is the cultural event this is a this is a humongous and very neatly organized fest in the whole bangalore and which is one of the most famous and fabulous cultural fest cultural event which takes place in bangalore then let's talk about the sports the sport facilities and the sport scholarships since the rvc campus is pretty big which is around 
acres of the campus. It includes almost all the sport facilities like it has a cricket field, it has a volleyball field, shuttle badminton court, football, indoor stadium for indoor basketball. So Jimmy is present inside the campus and there are tennis courts. So we have seen the sports, the sports event organized by the RBC. Now let's see some of the scholarships which are provided by the university for the students participating and also representing the state at university levels. Uh, students of the first year who represents VTU uh, in inter-university level competitions are given a blazer and for the second time of representation they'll be awarded a cash prize of 2500 in the third year they'll be given a cash prize of 3000 and in the fourth year uh, it would be 3500 the library services in rvc is pretty good because uh, as you can see i have provided some of the stats in this pdf which says it contains e-journals of around 6000 and it has e-books uh, of 46000 and uh, the membership and the loan period would be like you can take four books at once and for a period of 15 days. So considering all the facts which we have discussed in this video, let's see the verdict of RVC guys. So RVC is the top and the best college of Karnataka and getting a seat in RVC itself is a very very tough thing. And that too, if you guys are getting seats in branches like CSC, ISC, EC, I would suggest you guys to go to RBC without a second thought. And if you are a student who is actually passionate about computers, about IT industry, about software engineering, RV stands the best for you guys. And if you are a student who focuses, who loves to do co-curricular activities a lot, uh, you can give a second thought about RBC but still guys believe me this stands this college stands the best and this college provides you the best placement opportunities compared to all the colleges in Karnataka so if you guys are not getting IITs, triple IITs, BITS, Pilani, Thapa University, Jadopur University and etc you can literally go to RBC without a second thought because the placement the cultural fairs the events and the student culture, the student crowd would be the greatest in Karnataka, in RBC College. That's it from my side guys. This was the video based on the RBC review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please do follow me on Instagram. My Instagram handle has been given in the PDF which is at gunnadev underscore 27. And I would like to answer your questions in the comment sections. Please make sure to ask your questions. I'll answer them as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching guys. Signing off.